Hi everyone, are you looking to compress a PDF file? I have a solution for you. If you have an M365 business license and using SharePoint, you can, thanks to a partnership between Adobe and Microsoft, you can compress a PDF file and even select how much you want to compress this file. So let me show you how this works. Let's go. Here I am in OneDrive. I have dropped a PDF here, starting from a PowerPoint presentation that I use for my YouTube thumbnails. I generated a PDF. Now this PDF has, as you can see here, 16 mega, which is a lot. So I would like to compress and reduce the size of this file. Luckily, this new capability available in OneDrive and SharePoint helps me. So I can click on this PDF and what I have here on top, it's a new icon, compress your PDF. So this is my PDF. I have all these pages here. I use, as you can see, what I would like to do is apply compression. So let's do that. You have three options here, thanks to the partnership between Adobe and Microsoft. You can apply a light compression. This will slightly reduce 25% of your image quality medium compression and heavy compression. This is up to you how much you want to impact the quality, the final quality. So let's have a heavy compression because you know I have 16 mega of this file, which is a lot. So I'm going to say copy. This is by default. So you can't save the same file. So you are going to have a copy of that. Now let me give it a name, compress it from thumbnail, it's fine, but I would like to place it on my files. Let me select save here and now I can close this one, I can go back and I should see this new file showing up in some time. Let's wait a bit and there we go. This file is now 5 mega and the compression it worked I would say pretty well, but this has a great cost. As you can see, the quality is completely compromised for my case, but maybe for you not, maybe for you can, can work. So let me do now another test. I will go back and I will apply a different level of compression. Let's say the light one. So in this way, I will not impact so much the final result. To find immediately my PDF file, let me filter for PDF. And there we go. This is my PDF file. Again, I will click on it to open this file. And now I'm going to click on the icon to compress this file. So light compression. Let's see the final result of this one. Hopefully would be better. So I'm going to change also the name compressed from thumbnail and let me add light. So I'm able to differentiate this file. Again, let me close it on. Let's go on my files and let's see if this file will show up. The page is refreshing and there we go. I have this new file compressed. I have now 10 mega with the first level of compression. And as you can see, the quality is it's good. So it's not not so bad like before. So this could be, I would say, a, the final compromise, the, the right balance, let's say. So you have to keep trying in order to find the right level of compression. But you know, when you speak about images, quality is incredibly important. So, but just with text, you can make more tests and try and in order to find the right compression level. So you have this functionality even in SharePoint. So I can jump on my SharePoint home site that I have here. I can then jump on the document library documents. Here I have another PDF file on this document library. And here I have, I have the function compress your PDF. Here I can do the same. With the first level, you have to target the document library or the folder where you want to save this one. Now I saved this 
on the same document library so I should see this let me refresh the page this new version of this PDF available here in the same document library and this is the way how you can try to compress your PDF file having a M365 business license. Now important to know is also that your file should be smaller than 300 mega otherwise you are not going to see this icon available for you. Are you going to use this feature? Let me know in the comment down below. If you enjoyed this video please consider to subscribe and like. I hope to see you next time. Bye!